It's definitely fun. Okay. Okay. Uh... Hello, everyone. Today, we are about to play some Mario Kart 8. Now, I'm one of your commentators, y'all the king. We got my co-commentator here, the lovely Kihori. Would you like to say hi? Hello. I'm Kihori. Awesome. <laughs> New to commentate. All right. Well, well, it's okay. I got your back, but we're going to be in this together. We're going to have a fun time. We're going to watch some good races. All I want to see is Yoshi Circuit, because that's the best stage in the game. Just going to say it right now. That is uh, a banger. It is. The music, honestly, most of the stages for Mario Kart that I like, it's just honestly the music. I think the music carries the stages quite a bit. There's some, you know, so there's some mediocre oh, stages yeah. out there, but... Oh yeah, the music is definitely, uh, I feel like underrated. People don't really mention, mention how much uh, the music is quite good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think Mario Kart is definitely known for its music overall. I think more than its stages. I don't know. Like, whenever I think of a stage, I think of the music. But it's, I mean, regardless, there's a lot of good stages in this game, so hopefully we get to see a lot of the good ones, and I'm just thankful we're not, we're not playing on 200cc. Um, according to the rules, everyone will be playing on 150cc, so we're not going to play super, super fast, but it'll be a nice little race we got between friends here. It's also for a good cause. Yeah, uh, I almost want to, I almost wish I could, like, if there's, if the people wanted to, like, vote for which track to race on, but I don't know how possible that is to do yet yeah like you know i wish they built like a, I, I mean i guess the system for like picking stages online isn't too too bad like you know like what we got going on here we gotta see yoshi circuit oh man hope that wins also i see some people actually know like the pattern of picking stages like once everyone chooses he has like the little random map that picks a stage someone knows like um when it starts slowing down what specific stage is actually going to catch on and i think that pretty cool i haven't found that out yet but looks like we're starting at mario kart stadium which is the og stadium good for newer players right here so let's see how the tournament goes It'll be pretty fun yeah i'm excited to uh play it's actually been a while since i've played um a turn any anything really on this game i'm gonna try my best to uh give good commentary while playing myself but there you go we got this link here. You know, seems to be having a little bit of a rough start in the beginning, but it's okay. He's back on track now. He's got a star. Definitely gonna help out. Um, I know a lot of the really good things about this game is that, especially if you're playing frantic mode, if you kind of keep behind, um, I think behind like sixth place, you'll get a lot of better items, and people usually kind of fish for that and then do continue yeah, to I the think front. Something that a lot of people don't know about this game, still, uh, this is in both the Wii U and then this version. Is that uh, the items are not scaled to which position you're in? They're scaled from they're scaled from how far are you away from first place. So if yeah. first place is really yeah. far ahead, second place can get stars and bullet bills. It's not just second place is one, two, green shells and bananas. It's something a lot of people don't. Uh, I don't think no, because uh, I don't think I ever really mentioned it. <laughs> in, in, no, in I think it is kind of crazy. Like, like you be yeah. in second place, you're like, I got a bullet. Huh? What is this? What game am I playing? This isn't a modded version. Yeah. Already uh, the first blue shell of the uh, of the tournament. That's always the uh, the best part of playing Mario Kart. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I wouldn't be surprised if we see one or two lightnings as well, especially with different types of settings in this game. Your norm normally one or two lightnings is the regular. Definitely irritates a lot of players. But if you have a star or anything, you're pretty good to go. Oh yeah. Uh. They definitely um, changed from Mario Kart 8 to this game with the with the having everyone having two item slots. They definitely um, double up how much items are on the field for sure. You can definitely tell. Yeah. Because there's already a second blue shell there. Oh my goodness! Look at that. This one won't be hitting me though. But <laughs> I definitely sense this like uh, Deluxe is definitely a more defensive game, which I find is really nice again with the whole double up on the items. Um, you have a lot more chance to kind of take your place. Like I feel like if for the just the Wii U version, um, you only had a limited chance to like get going. But for this, if you like, let's say if you're in first or whatever, you definitely have a better chance of sticking to that place. If you especially if you have like multiple bananas and multiple green shells so with your the, items. Spots. The funny thing about that is you both do and you don't. Because, yeah, you have two times mm -hmm. the defenses, but everyone behind you has two times the offense as well. So, exactly. Yeah. It, it, it kind of balances it out, but. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, you can see there, uh, I was in first and the one blue shell brought me down to fifth because just the train of shells and items just kept hitting me. But that's Mario Kart. That's Mario Kart. Hmm. No matter how good you're doing, so. you can just get uh, slapped around by every item in the game. No matter how well, you, no matter how uh, good you can do in, in the track. That's for sure, yeah. Also, what kind of what kind of um, customization are you rocking? I do the uh, I play Rosalina with the uh, what's it called? Uh, the fuck, oh, the uh, the the Wiggler, the Wiggler ATV, and the um. Oh, okay. I can't remember what the wheels are called, but the little ones with the acceleration, because acceleration is king in this game. Yes, yes. I think it's like the super tiny ones, right? They're like the red ones. Yeah, the rollers. Are, yeah, the rollers. I think yeah, called. yeah. Like for me, I would usually rock Waluigi with the Buzzy Beetle with the rollers as well. Yeah. Another that's another weird thing about Deluxe specifically is that it makes acceleration the king instead of a speed like you would assume. Yes. And that, you know, I like seeing a lot of different characters in this game because usually when people play online or playing the game really competitively, you only see like a certain amount of characters. Like I see a lot of Roy, Waluigi, um, me to be specific as yeah, well. Yeah, it's always the heavy characters. Yeah. Yeah, but the fun thing about something like this, we're having a little fun charity tournament, is everyone gets to pick their favorite character. It's nothing too try hardy, nothing really too sweaty. Oh, Everyone's I'm just kind of having fun. Because to be honest, it's a <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's it's, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I think um, for me, I've I've uh, I've played so much that I'm just too used to how uh, the heavy characters handle at this point that I just feel That's off right. if I don't play <laughs> heavy character. No, so much no, like, like some of the later games. Like, oh. Yeah, like I know back in Mario Kart Wii, I used to play a lot of Dry Bones. Like he was the homie. Um, oh yeah, I think that he plays really version. well in this game as well. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know. The, like the heavy carriers have always been like really, really good. Oh yeah. Back in Mario Kart Wii, I played Baby Mario myself, but then something something clicked in this game where I just started tryharding and I picked heavy and I never went back. No, nope. once you go heavy, you never look back. Yeah, I was gonna say like on the same time, like for like the past ten seconds, we've had a bullet bill, a, a blue shell, and a star. And now we have a boo. This is such an <laughs> offensive, crazy game. Like, that's yeah, the one thing I love about this out. game. Especially, like, you have a lot of offensive items like this, but you'll have very little hits done. Like, it, like, it was the other way around in Mario Kart Wii, where, you know, there's a lot, there's some options, but the hit done was so dramatic, and you can oh, go from, yeah. like, first place to eighth place so easily, and you're like, oh, well, there goes my lead. For this, it's very easy to come back up. It's Especially a bit easier with, to like, come um, back. Car tracking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What really um, messes up is the uh, just the combos that can happen. But um, like when you get combo by multiple items. Mm -hmm. But uh, and so here's an example of the thingy. Uh, I'm in third place, but I just got triple shrooms in third place. Oh, so gross. That's just that's just how far ahead the person in first was there. Yeah, I will also say like the big difference between the last game as well was um, the hit stun. So, well, I mean, I said, I didn't mention that, earlier, but I mean, like, from the time between, like, how much invisibility you have after getting hit. Because there's been times where I'm like, I just got hit, and person would throw, like, two red shells, and it's like, oh, I didn't get hit by them. I just keep driving, which is, I mean, it's okay. But you could, you de you could definitely save yourself a lot. And especially, like, hoarding coins in this game is very handy to have right oh, after yeah. you get hit. Just trying to get Big Blue on my favorite track. Big Blue is a great stage, also with great music. I remember when it first released for the DLC, I was like, yo, this is oh, really, man. really good. I love uh, Big Blue because it's got that skip. Uh, through where you just kind of That's right. Cut through the middle. Mm hmm. I think there's, a, there's definitely less skips in this game than Mario Kart Wii as well, which I think is good because Mario Kart Wii was kind of broken and skips were kind of dummy. I was in that very game. broken. But. Yeah. Yeah, but this this it makes a you know it's not too devastating to go from like let's say fifth place to first place. Maybe park. Oh, we all know that stage. Someone someone had to. <laughs> someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. But it's okay if you want a little disaster the tournament. Just throw a baby park on, and everything will be all good. All right, we'll see I'm how scared much. Of this stage. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm willing yeah. to bet there's gonna be like two blue shells and like five bullet bills. You can never guarantee a win on this map. You just never can. No, never. Oh, definitely one of the hardest stages. Like this and like to be consistent. Also, like Dragon. I think Dragon Driftway at like 200 CC. I find is like one of the most difficult races. Oh, Dragon Driftway is very fun. Mm -hmm. I think I just love the irony of this track that you, you you look at it and it's so simple, but you can't hold lead on it because the game just will not let you. Yeah. Also, with that, it's like the first couple of races, or first couple laps, you're like, okay, it's okay, and then the music progressively just gets quicker and quicker and quicker, and then it just adds to the suspense of the game. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go insane! From, <laughs> I'm gonna go insane from this track because yeah. so much stuff is happening and the music's getting crazy and. Everyone's hitting each other. You gotta remain with that. You're, you're placing. Oh, it's difficult. But you gotta keep a good mindset. I'm trying. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in everyone this turn. Holding a decent second right now, but that, that can be taken yeah. away at any second. I was gonna say, hey, second be second's better than nothing, you know? I'll take I'll take that second. Looks that like could have been a lot worse. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a late lightning there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's hard to... Yeah. It's hard to uh, commentate on what's happening in the back when I'm playing myself. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, hey, you're, 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 doing, you're doing the Lord's work. Playing and commentating at the same time? Definitely a hard thing to do. Uh, I'm trying. Right, we're gonna... But that means you're fully in the action. Then you're like a play-by-play. -play. You're like you're like um, one of those um, reporters that go out during a tsunami <laughs> or a hurricane. You report everything that's going on. You're like, ah, oh, like bullets are going, bullets, are, bullets bills are going everywhere. Stars are hitting. It's crazy up in here. <laughs> I did get hit by a couple stars somehow, despite being in second, because that's just baby park. Mm -hmm. I think person in like seven. <laughs> it's so <a> star. <laughs> Funny where. You'll be in like for second or third. You'll get like hit by people who are in like eleventh or tenth place. You're like, whoa, yeah. what the hell, man? Come on, give me Yoshi's circuit. Whoever oh, voting for Bowser's close. Castle is also the true champion because I love that track so much. The Bowser's Castle. When we were talking about music, that has actually one of the greatest songs in this game. Is Bowser's Castle? I agree. I agree. It's very, very good. Also, I don't know if this is an unpopular think... opinion, but I feel like this is the worst Rainbow Road. No, I agree with you. Like, especially, I don't know, like, they have, like, what, three Rainbow Roads in this game? I, I don't know. Like, Mario Kart 8's, sorry, I mean, Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road was special, and then there was, like, Double Dash, which was just insane and really hard. Um, well, the older ones I didn't really grow up with, so I didn't, never had a chance to really play it that much. But, I, seeing how they returned, I know people weren't really happy on... I think it was like the Nintendo 64 one where they made yeah, it like that, kind that of one straight go. Too. Yeah, I don't like don't like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like no. for me when I first saw this, I don't like because it feels artificial. Rainbow Rose never felt artificial before, you know? Yeah. It always felt mm -hmm. like it's just in there, but this is artificial. It's a it's a space station. It feels a little bit less special. Maybe that's. I kind of like it though. I think I, I think it's definitely different. But it's definitely like it's a uh, definitely a takeaway from like the usual Rainbow Rose we've had in the past. Yeah. I do like this one. It's got a pretty interesting skip. Uh, um. Then again, I guess it just makes it interesting because of how little skips there are in this game. So I guess the few that we get mm -hmm. makes it pretty interesting. But there's a it's little a skip cut. where like with the two different pathways, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like after the the launcher, you take you go to the lower path. And uh, on that first like little bumper that speeds you up, you just kind of drift past it, and uh, yeah, you land right. on the lower path. And I got hit by a red shot while trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still in the lead. Definitely I'm unlucky. That. Gotta get it. Hey, that's all you need. Well, I see that Rosaline in the first place. It's kind of you know, you're kind of in your own territory. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you are the space girl. You know, I don't know why I picked Rosalina in the first place. I never, I don't even, she's okay. I just went with her and I can't not play her. <laughs> See, normally if I don't go Waluigi, it's always Daisy. Cause Daisy is foam girl, she's awesome. Uh, 
Peach, I know a lot of people like playing Peach in this game as well. Rosalina, I don't see a lot of Rosalinas. Like, I, I was still like that kid who didn't um, fully unlock everything in Mario Kart Wii, and I'm like, I don't know how to get Rosalina, so I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think, I think I've got this one in the bag for a win. I hope. It's good, there's a, blue there's shell, a blue but I have a horn. Coming. I have a horn. And I'll oh, start. there you go. That's one thing in this game, too. Horn is actually amazing. It's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, just there. See, it almost mattered, but I crossed the finish line. But I noticed that every time I like, I have the horn, it likes to send a red shell and then a blue shell right after. So you can't, you have to decide, yeah. like, do I, do I just eat this red shell or do I use the horn to get it? But then it's, every time you choose to use the horn, there's a blue shell coming. Especially with, I don't know, it depends, like, how soon they come right after, because you could just eat up the red shell hit and then get hit with the blue shell, and then you have that invisibility, and you're like, ah, it's whatever. It always, it always likes to wait, just just long enough. Just long enough. Mm -hmm. Just always seems that uh, as soon as you use that horn to block a red shell, someone gets a blue shell. It knows when to creep up on you. Yeah, oh yeah. Still trying to get Big Blue. I will say, some of the other stages I really, really like is like... Um, Sherbert Land. Just mostly yeah. because of the music. Sherbert Land's really good. Um, Sherbert Land, shout out to Kurt. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the homie. Yeah, that's his favorite. Um, Mario Stadium's really good. It, it takes me back to like, Waluigi Stadium, because that was like my favorite map yeah. when I was younger. Yeah. I think a very underrated track for both the play and the music uh, is Wildwood. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wildwood is very good. Very fun track and very good song. Mm -hmm. I agree. We got where is Stadium. This is another uh, pretty fun one, honestly. I've, I've, I do a lot of speedruns of this uh, game as well. I've actually played this game quite a lot, both uh, the Wii U and this one. I, I see speedruns for this game. Not, I, I, I kind of want to do it. I'm like, oh, it's so fun. It's pretty fun. It's it, like, I do it with no items, and it's just it's literally just you and your skill of doing the course. That's all it is, and it's pretty fun, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think that's good though. It shows like it shows like how good and how well you know your surroundings and. That's the beauty of speedrunning, especially like for this game, because like every little draft or every little hop has to be perfect. Oh, you yeah. definitely want to shave those seconds. You definitely need to know your environment for it. Yeah, and definitely also, a lot easier with less people too. Oh yeah. When I uh, whenever I have tournaments coming out, back when we do Salt Flats events, I basically just grind speedruns every time in in uh, like in to prepare for the tournaments. I just race every track over and over again. That's the best way to learn. Yeah. The blue shell took up the guy in first, so I'll, I'll take that nice uh, pass into the first place for myself. Hey, that's all you need. Every opportunity you can get in this game, you need to take advantage of it. And the, the shock. I always just loving, love watching Mario Kart. It just, it's just always so fun, but it's sometimes just so frustrating to play where it's like, oh, like, come on, the green shell? I didn't see that. How did I get hit by that? Yeah, it definitely. Crazy is when you get some green shell snipes. Those are awesome. <laughs> you know, I actually learned something like a week ago that apparently the green shells in this game have a chance to just always angle themselves to home in on someone after bouncing off the wall. Really? Allegedly. That's something I've heard. I don't I haven't fact checked that, I'll admit, but I've heard that <laughs> it's one of those Mario someone, Kart secrets, you know? Someone mentioned that and it was seen plausible. Cause I do notice is a a uh a odd amount of green shell bounces that seem to work. It wouldn't surprise me if that was uh, a true fact, I'll be honest, but Oh interesting. I was gonna say, like, it would, it would, uh, I don't know, it would seem likely, because the amount of times that it ricochets after a while and it ends up hitting somebody, oh my god, yeah. that seems too good to be true. Yeah, I don't does. know about that. I don't know about it. Uh, that's that's definitely a, a fact check, but it's interesting. It is interesting. This, uh, I don't know who the DK player is, but they're 
doing pretty good. I think, yeah, there's, there has also, to be we got our, we got the homie Alex, we got the homie Nullix <laughs> playing Mario Kart. We oh, appreciate yeah. the footage. He's always a homie. He's filling yeah, I wish in, I, probably I wish filling I in for me because I, I would I would play, but I'd rather do some nice professional commentary here. I know we got you as a professional player trying to do some commentary. <laughs> I wish I could stream, but I don't have a, a capture card or anything, even though I keep meaning to get one. Because like I'll play like yeah, those are those were definitely hard to come by earlier oh. this year. I was happy to snag one. I'll be playing like my BGC matches, and I'll be like, "Oh, that looked really cool. I'd like to save that." Oh, right, I can't. <laughs> I gotta be like, clip it. Someone clip it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh. And, then my, and then my switch is full, and I can't clip it. <laughs> oh no. Or the clip. Oh, you know, I right? love this map. I love. I this love is, uh, Quant Bruins. This one is uh pretty good, and it's like not really tech, but there's just a really fun little optimization to do in this track. Um, on the wall here, mm -hmm. where you uh, you have to like hold a drift while on the wall. Just I'd say this probably game. in my like top ten favorite maps in this game. Maybe even good. top five. I'm not too sure. I just like the music too. It's it's definitely like it's not too like everywhere. Like it's a little linear, but you see we have like that little short short cut you just took. Like yeah. If newer players don't know how to do that, it could be a little difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's definitely a good that's one of, favorite. Believe it or not, that's actually one of the more scary ones. <laughs> okay, uh, there's, there's the yeah, couple I shortcuts that. that I I don't take in tournament if I don't have to, and that is one of them. Uh, that's a bit, it's just, mm -hmm. it, it can go wrong. And I know I don't want anything to go wrong. The worst one is Ribbon Road. That's that's one that I almost never take in tournament, but that's... That'll just ruin the run. That that one's always usually not worth it. Especially um, I think um, try to think of all the ones that I wouldn't I wouldn't normally take. Like I like I didn't really know the. I'm pretty sure it's Big Blue that has the shortcut in the end. Or honestly, it's Mead City. I can't remember where it's like right before like the swivel. Um, that that I didn't realize until like this past until like last year. I'm like, oh, that's a shortcut. I didn't realize that. Another one is like uh, Toad's. Uh, like the little ski way. Um, that one at the end, I'm like, ah, I'll kind of pass it up. But the, but this one, like, for sure, like, one Bruins, I would always take, like, 100% of the time. Yeah, I mean, too, I don't mess it up too often, but, you know, I say that, so I'm probably going to mess it up right now. Because that's the... Uh, <laughs> you going to jinx yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. Nah, I did. And I don't think I get first off of it, though. Nah, that DK gets first this time. Feeling a tight, uh, tight rivalry with this DK player right now. A good finish to everyone here. I like it. How many races is that? A super fun tournament. Oh yeah, this is fun. I last count of how yeah, many races Alex, so far. Alex Shirley. Shirley coming up, I believe in him. He didn't do this, he didn't do too bad either. Nice, good fourth place, and Kehori being the man of legend, being up there. <laughs> Definitely doing my best. I'm trying. Mildly rusty. Also, uh, while everyone's choosing the stage as characters, I just like to mention a couple things. Uh, thank you for everyone to watching the stream. Make sure to type uh, explanation mark donate. Make sure you donate uh, to the charity we got going on. Um, also, some sponsors for Belan and Ricky's Grill. And also, thank you to Northern Bottling for providing our monster energy supplies and all that yeah, stuff cool. we're giving out. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys share the stream as well. Make sure you all tweet it, retweet it, tell your family, tell your friends, get some viewerships going, and make sure everyone supports for a good cause. Oh, here we go! The best yeah. stage of all time. I, I, have didn't, super I didn't wanna. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I was going to say... Uh... Get some poggers for Yoshi Circuit. Yo, okay. If, this is all right. If you if people get the mushroom in the beginning, you're automatically in a better position because you can go right through the waterfall that they <laughs> saved. Oh, you are extremely lucky, good sir. <laughs> that I off the start I is didn't really good. That, but I'll take it. Mm, it's okay. Sometimes we take those. We do take those. I also love this little jump behind the prana plant. I don't know if you 
saw that. I don't know. That was a yeah. I love that oh, little. Uh, also took that. Nice. A huge. Yeah, I would say for like big, for beginners, the stage could be a little scary because the amount of drifts you have to take, especially like through the um, if you don't take the little jump behind the piranha plants, it could be pretty swervy. You gotta time your um, drifts quite well. You can actually like I, I think depending on the builds you can have, you can actually drift every single one and get a little speed boost, which oh, yeah. is pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, good dodge by Alex with the blue shell. <laughs> he saw it right, uh -oh. right, right behind him. He saw it was coming. He stopped. He did a little drift, and unfortunately, it's gonna hit you guys. But I think uh, you got actually, hit by something I else was, right before. I was, in, I was in stun from something else. Yeah. I was gonna see, yeah, I saw that. you I saw you two stopped. Yeah, I saw you two stopped on the map. I'm like, oh, they're fine. Completely fine. That was definitely a pog chat moment. It's me and the DK. Also this music is just so good. Oh uh, okay, go. Me and this DK are just holding a nice uh run up here. Nice. Guys having a little picnic in front? Uh no, something stopped him, I think. Or is that just like <laughs> that was just like that was just like Oh, another blue shell! Oh my goodness, it's just like the second blue shell in like the past 20 seconds! Everything's going crazy! You know, I saw that one coming and I backed up but the DK took it. Take it. Oh, I do that a lot. I'm I just feel, like, oh, I you feel know what, you can take that, it, buddy. But, uh, <laughs> it's so funny oh, when I... that happens, though. So. He gets the win, though, because he got a red shell. Oh, red shell I had, at the I had, end. A, I had a, I had a nice coin. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, like I said earlier, like keeping those coins is definitely really handy. But if you don't have somebody to protect you right <laughs> at the end, it's always like something to worry about. You're like, you're like, well, I could get hit and save a coin, or I can, you know, have a shell or, or, or something or, behind me or a banana. I could take a coin, or I could win the ra win this race. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, no, man. Sometimes winning the race is fine, but getting that money is pretty nice. Yeah, gotta stack those coins up in my account because uh, you know <laughs> I don't have enough of those already. That's true. I'm still hoping you, you, get just, that you definitely have to farm farm those uh, coins to get all the items in this game, which I think is fine. I think it's okay. I wish like part of me was like I wish you could actually um, use those coins and actually like purchase the parts or purchase certain. Um, yeah, that would have been cool. in this game. Yeah, that would have been cool. Cause it was always just which one do but, I get? Oh, not what I'm gonna use. Yeah, but it's definitely easier for like beginners or for like younger yeah. kids to be like, okay, I got this many coins, I unlocked stead item or whatever, which I think is fine. Got a big wild woods though. Ooh, wild woods! We were just talking about this a little early on. I also like how you're like starting off like <laughs> on like a ninety degrees angle. You're just gonna straight up. Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> the environment is so beautiful. Like, just being in like a rainforest is just so nice. I definitely like it quite a bit. Yeah, that's a good one. Especially at the little waterway. Definitely reminds me of Koopa Cave back in Mario Kart as well. Oh, I love Koopa Cave. Koopa Cave is a definitely a big nostalgia hit. Yeah, Koopa Cave, my bad, yeah. Oh, and you have the little shortcut at the end too. Definitely nice if you have a mushroom. Most of the time it's like, ah, uh, whatever. I don't think you can make that one without a mushroom. In 200cc I think I don't you can. I don't think you can either. No. Yeah. Can you with um with the star? Where oh, with star, it? with the star, yeah. Okay. There's a blue shell coming, but I'm not first. There you go, hits a Donkey Kong instead. We got a big cluster of people from like third, eighth place here. The oh, race is definitely tight. A who has taken my horn? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, whoever <laughs> got the horn definitely has a oh, has a good item on their hands. Who is definitely uh. A new item in this game that's really aggravating. <laughs> it can be. But then sometimes it takes I mean, like it's nice for the oh, nice right. Yeah, as you say, it's nice for the receiver where it's like, oh, you know, I'm invisible and invisible for how many seconds that I get somebody's item. Definitely not good for 
the one who uh, gave up the item. You're like, well, I lost my horn. There goes all of my defensive options, and a blue shell could be coming my way. Thankfully, uh, there isn't. Ooh, that's critical. I didn't get the last item box because me and DK went for the same one, and I think that might cost me the old race there. Yeah. We both went for the yeah, double. Looks like he got it. And he got it, yeah. Oh, you guys are neck and neck right on the map there. Alex with the gold show, he's gonna take the shortcut. Ooh, just by. Oh wow, he actually takes seven. Wow, that was like that was like pinpoint accuracy between him and uh uh, Ender Eden. I got Skillux with 106 points. This, this reminds me, like, I played, uh, this is a few years ago, I played, um, Mario Kart with two of my other friends who are in the FGC community, and we did all 48 maps, <laughs> and that took, like, three hours. <laughs> that was so yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot how many points I ended up. I def I didn't win all of them, but, I, like, def there was, like, majority of them was, like, first place. And uh, i never seen that many points in Mario Kart in my life, so I thought it was like the funniest thing. And like the third hour, we were just done. <laughs> we were so tired, we didn't want to play any more games for the rest of the day. I think we actually like, went out and got some food. But, because this game takes a lot out of you, especially if you're playing it like oh, yeah. super competitively with other people. Because this game could get heated, let's be honest. Like, someone has to be the best racer. Yeah, there's been a... Uh... I don't want to say I got too heated, but there's been some... Um... It, it just There's been a couple of incident, incidents in tournament. In, uh, in Salt Flats, where I, I've lost to a single, I've lost the tournament to a single green shell. That did happen yeah. once, and I was like, I wasn't like angry, but I wasn't happy. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> it, just, it was a little yeah, upsetting. Those things where it's like I played, it's like I played really well, and then one item one, messed one, up my whole run. It wasn't even like a red shell or a blue shell. It was a green shell. It, it was a lucky bounce oh. off of Ribbon Road that put me in fifth. Oh. Yeah. It was something. This one, Neo Bowser City, is one that I hear most people say they hate because of the rain. I love this track so much. It is so much fun to me. Yeah, I'm one of those people that never really came to like it. Like, there's definitely a lot of other stages I would choose before Neo Bowser City. I wouldn't say I hate it. I'd say it's just definitely not on my radar to pick. We would pick some other stages, but I've heard people like like you that said this stage is really good and i think it's i think really i can fun. see why like it seems it seems like it could be very quick it is quick and it's fun and i just i just really like the the drift heavy tracks so like this yoshi's mm -hmm. um dragon driftway the ones that are really just constantly drifting i i just really like those tracks it also, definitely shows like how well a player is with these kinds of maps with drifting then yeah Ooh, Alex got the blue shell there. That's like it's coming back for you. That's not for me. Yeah, yeah. Get a horn? <laughs> the last second horns are always like the most clutch picks. You're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> that in uh, um, mushrooms as well. I know, like I, I've, I've only been able to do it once, but I'm definitely not consistent with the um, you know, mushrooms. You know, I blue shells. for as much as I've played this game, or any Mario Kart for that matter, I have never been in a position to even attempt that. I've never had a mushroom in first and had a blue shell come at me. Like, I don't think I've ever had the chance to attempt to dodge a blue shell with a mushroom. Ever. Like, I just never had like, once. And that was, like, I was in, that was in this one for, like, the Switch. <laughs> and when the first time I've ever done that, I was like, whoa! That's, like, <laughs> I only have, like, a couple frames to do this. I can't believe yeah, I actually pulled it off. It's and tough. It's very tough. But then you see people like uh, Bear, for example, I know people yeah. should follow him. Um, I think he's E United right now. I think he's supposed to be E United. E United Bear, who plays this game very competitively, and I think he pushes the um, the fan base uh, a lot, which is good, because this game, uh, and Mario Kart in general, is a great game. Like, the amount, the amount of skills and knowledge that he has for this game is awesome. I yeah, think this game I, has a lot of tech to it. I love it. It does. I like that. Uh... I just feel a little pain in my heart because Mario Kart 8 had more, but they took it out. <laughs> they took it yeah. out from the Switch to Wii U to Switch, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not angry about it. Now, there's just that little bit of fire hopping tech that I loved in in uh, Mario Kart 8 that they took out of this game. I've seen uh, a bit but of no, that, yeah. But I still, I still do love this game. 
Uh, I think I just like the Wii U version a little bit more. But I do love this game, and I I, I wish there was more people who you know played it because uh, mm -hmm. it's very fun. Uh, I think I remember I like the only times where. Sorry, go ahead. I remember what you were saying. Okay, no, I was gonna say this. There's tons of times where we're um, thinking of like, oh, what Mario Kart game we should play? Everyone goes to Wii because let's be honest, like Wii was really good. Um, Wii... and I think it has a lot of yeah. a lot of places in people's hearts because the dynamic of how it was it was just amazing. But this game, like you said, I think it's very underrated. Like when people say like really good Mario Kart games, no one ever says this game. Yeah. So something interesting though I do that I do like about this is in Mario Kart Wii. Let's not kid ourselves, bikes were busted. Uh, everybody knows that. Bikes were <laughs> yeah. busted. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and so you almost couldn't even play the game if you were playing on cart. Like, you just kind of couldn't. Um, and in Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, you couldn't play bikes because carts were just so much better. Because you could fire hop yes, the bikes. Exactly. Uh, yeah. What I do like about this game is that it doesn't have that problem. Uh, it's pretty even. Uh, but which is better? It's very track dependent. If you can use uh, carts or bikes, and I like that because um, you know, use use what you like. You know, I like that. It's not just like oh, pick I pick carts because yeah. you're gonna lose. No. Yeah, everyone should have the opportunity to pick what they like. I saw the issues for both games, and they're like, ah, if this is a game that you know everyone should be playing, like regardless if you're older or younger, everyone should kind of have like the exact same amount of um, opportunity. I think that's the best word you choose for this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do I do like that about this game, for bringing, bridging the gap between the types. Because I prefer cards myself, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, I only I'm more of a card Wii guy as well. Because they were good. But, yeah, like, yeah. In, in Mario Kart 8, if you used a bike, you were just hindering yourself completely. Uh, I've got a healthy lead up in the front here, so I'm hoping I didn't just jinx it and summon a blue shell. I did. I actually did. Oh, I actually not, did. You did. That's the exact same I second. Like that. <laughs> that, was, that was insane. I don't know how you do that. You're some sort of Mario uh, Kart god yeah. that just summons stuff. Can just I say you're gonna curse? summon a like? <laughs> Can I commentate his curse? Just commentate his curse yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You should have quickly said like, oh, give me a horn, give me a horn, give me something. Man, the tri triple mushrooms in first place would be so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I oh man, I wish I uh, I wish I didn't have a bullet. Oh man, that would suck. <laughs> I feel like bullets actually hinder more than they help, to be honest. I never feel like it always. F I maybe like it's just specifically. I don't know. I always just feel like it's not going as fast as I think it is. Like, I feel like I could be, Like, maybe it's just the way the, like, the camera is or something. I don't know if it's something like camera trick in the game. But I just feel like I could be going faster than the bullet, though. <laughs> Even though I know that's I not think, true. I know in 200cc, it, it doesn't last a long time, doesn't it? Like, it's yeah. only, like, for a couple seconds. Me and the DK have tied it up in first place. And I think that was the ninth Ooh, race. I think we have two more races to go. That's hype. I think there's two more races and hard. it's tied for first right now. Oh, that that's big gonna blue. be a saucy event. Meet me that big blue. I was gonna say you better pick your favorite stage. Keep keep picking your I've favorite picking, stage. So you gotta pick big blue the whole time. <laughs> I haven't got it yet. No, oh, where's the? Where's the that's a great stage. That's a very good song. Straight up. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing. Mm -hmm. song. <laughs> Believe it or not, Moon Meadows. I think it's on lap two or lap three. Dodging the cows is like very technical, because <laughs> they're just right in the middle. Yeah, no, because because they're, they're everywhere. Like I like I know like I'm assuming like once people know how to play that stage, like they know specifically where the cow is going to be. Unless it's randomized. If it's like randomized, no, then it's, it's like not, it's, dumb. it's on a it's on a cycle. It's just um it's whether you get there or not because of like items and stuff. But that they makes are sense. Yeah. they are like always at the same spot in the same time. To my knowledge, I believe that's how it is. I don't see, I've never seen like anything to disprove that. Um, so if you get there at about the same time, you can expect them to be in about the same place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I actually like how open, um, 
this map is to begin with as well. Like like I said, like a lot of these maps are very linear, and I find that's maybe like one of the the cons about this game. But like I feel like you have a lot more open space, even though this is a smaller map to begin with. I like how like much freedom you have moving around and when you yeah, bring that, around people or the moles that, or uh, the cows or etc. Cow field, there's a lot of space to um, make plays with mushrooms for sure. For sure, oh absolutely. So right there at the that, where that first cow is, it's actually kind of tough to hold your drift. Because like, it's easy to go by them if you're not drifting, but it's, it's holding the drift around the cows that makes it kind of... I say technical, it's not too hard, but you know, it's something. I saw a combination of um, people laying some bananas actually right there where the, where the cow is starting to walk over and I'm like, oh that's a great idea because you're just basically making a landmine of cows and bananas and then someone is just bound to hit one of those regardless. Yeah. Oh, there's one of those right there. Don't like that. There they are. Oh, I saw a couple people hitting the cow. Ooh, Alex making a good... Oh, I was gonna say making some good maneuvers. Yeah, maneuvers. Got hit by a star, unfortunately. I was like, yeah, if you have a star during the, uh, the events of the cows, then, you know, you're doing pretty well. Bowser Jr. took first place. Uh, this, this guy came well out of nowhere on that one. Blue show. I think you guys just finished a late, definitely a late bloom show. Going into last race, this this is anybody's game. I think... It, I, uh, I say anybody's game, I think I meant the, me and the DK. Uh, the, maybe... The Bowser Jr. could win if me and DK get, like, last. Both last. I was gonna say, if, if you guys have the opportunity of getting last place or last two... Yeah, if, if, if me and DK get like 11th off, uh, Bowser Jr. might win. But uh, I think otherwise it's... A toss up. It's basically me or DK, whoever wins this race, is gonna win the the, the event here. Because this is the last race going into this. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. just cross my. Do a nice cross for Big Blue. <laughs> oh! That's a good look. Oh, that is a pog! Go get some pogs in this chat. Let's get some pogs in this Can chat. Can I rig it? Please. TO rig it? Can I get a TO? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> KRO, we might have DK from this point. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hopefully everyone give your, uh, applause for the participants, because this is the last race. Let's hope it all goes well. Good luck to everybody. And some nice big blue music. Oh, definitely very nostalgic. Nostalgic and makes me want an S-Hero game. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> joke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> definitely one of those things that'll be hard to come by, but it's okay, because we got... I mean, you don't, you can get the Captain Falcon me in this game and ride on his um, car and then play on this map, but it's basically F Zero if you play on 200 yeah. CC. So it's 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 technically the same thing. It's all so it's so close. So it's not so close, close for no cigar. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like how they implement like the little. Um, electric speed columns from f as well and it just gives yeah. you points and I'm like oh that's smart that's good it's very it's very smart it like heals you for oh a red shell in the tunnel that's not good i don't like that oh i'm good though no. got a bomb just Ooh, and there's a blue shell coming as well I don't like that <laughs> oh this game i think looks very good like visually as well like it's oh, yeah. like I don't think it's aged too too bad. Like I know it's only what a few years old. I don't I can't specifically remember when Mario Kart 8 originally came out for the Wii U. Uh, but you know I think what? all I of this handles up pretty nicely. I don't remember when the original came out for the Wii U. I don't. When did the Wii U come out again? Was it like what 20 uh 2012? I think. Oh, I got hit by a green shell, and DK is gonna take the race. That's unfortunate. Oh, no way! Oh, Alex just got hit! He was going to get third! Oh, no! Oh, definitely a lot of upsets in this last race, folks. I think, uh, yeah, EK yeah, wins it by a single point. With the one point lead! Man's looking like Gen 1 Pokemon right now oh. with the 151. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy! A one point lead! Wow. Oh, what did, I, what did I tell you about Ribbon Road and the single, the single green shell that lost me in the tournament? It just yeah, it came back. Yourself. It came back. 
you had to jinx yourself. You, you, that you was only fun, got that hit by a blue shell, you got hit by everything, but that was a that was a really intense last round. That was a good one, yeah. Uh, that was that was fun. I liked uh, I liked that. I wish there was more Mario Kart events happening, but uh, that was fun. Yeah, uh, and it was for a charity, so that's good. Can't be can't be upset about that. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, congratulations to all our participants, and thank you for all watching and supporting this because. I mean, let's be honest, Mario Kart's super fun. I think everyone should play it more. Uh, everyone who's watching should definitely play more if you have the opportunity. Uh, not just this game, but also like the past games. Because when people think of Mario Kart, people think of like Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart 64. If you have any of those games or have the chance to play them, play them. Because I think you enjoy them and they're very, very good for like party settings as well. So I know, I mean, not really now because we're in the middle of, of, uh, <laughs> of the world having a little yeah. sickness. But... Thing. You have a chance to play online Mario, or something. Mario Kart, or Mario Kart 8 over, has both yeah. player online, so... Yes! You know, get all of your friends. really nice that. They can't do that, there you go. But, yeah, well, uh, I, yeah I, I, was, I love this game. Yeah, I love this game, and I, I keep... I keep wanting to... Um... Like, have some sort of community online and, and run more events. Uh, I just keep not doing that. But if there was interest mm -hmm. in that kind of thing from people that I know, then maybe I would uh, start that up. But I don't know. I think once weeklies come back up, I'd like. I think I'd be down to play it more. I think we should definitely hold something like that in the future be because really I know we've been doing it. a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know what to do now, uh, but that was fun. Oh. It was good. Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. Thanks for having me on the stream to commentate while playing. It was fun. Thanks for commentating with me. Yeah, it's been nice commentating. Yeah, nice. Uh, you have to commentate more, Kaori. You have to show me more of your uh, awesome skills about this game. Um, also, I'd like to thank. Yeah, I'd like to thank the, everyone who donated. Um, let's see yeah, how much you. we made, actually. Um, I think we raised. Let's see. It's updated. Uh, we've up. Oh, okay. So we're at four hundred twenty-five dollars, which is awesome. Oh. That was a definitely that was a an increase, um, which means we're almost halfway to our goal, which is uh, of a thousand dollars, which is awesome. So everyone, please keep that up. Uh, you can do that by doing exclamation mark donate in the chat. Um, also, again, thank you to people who've supported us, like uh, Ricky's Grill, Herbaland, and Northern Bottling for providing all of our Monster Energy supplies and prizes. So thank you everyone for watching the stream. I've been Yarl. Yes, good to meet you. Okay, yeah, and uh, let's see, uh, I can actually have a couple donations, uh, we had an $80 donation from Just Survival Safety, we got some Doomsday, we got the homie Red saying, late reg, but still real reg, exactly, it doesn't matter if you're a late registration to any of the games, but as long as you support as well, uh, also, yo, Jimbo for $100 says, good cause, um, good cutouts. He's thinking talking about the Master Chief cutouts. Um, unfortunately, I didn't wasn't able to cop any of them because, let's be honest, Master Chief is really cool, and with a new Halo Infinite coming in the horizon, it'll be a nice grab. Um, and also, thank you to Victor, uh, who's also a huge support for everything that we do here at ASA and yeah. esports in general and charities. Um, so, thank you for everyone who donates. Um, make sure to tell your family, your friends, share the stream, and thank you for helping us out and giving us a little watch over a nice little weekend. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, bye. <laughs>